हेलो एवरीवन वेरी वॉम वेलकम एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म आई टी एल एस अकेडमी वेरी वॉम वेलकम एवरी वन द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑटो इम्यून डिसीजेस एंड द प्रोमिस ऑफ स्टेम सेल बेस्ड थेरापीज इन दिस लेक्चर we are going to study what are autoimmune diseases and how they are connected with the stem cells is there any uh, any uh, possibility that in future or is there any evidence that stem cells can be used for the therapy of autoimmune diseases all the answers of these questions we will search in this particular lecture so guys uh, let us start we are going to start with introduction we will see a brief introduction of autoimmune disease we will see what are autoimmune diseases and how they happens first point the body's main line of defense against invasion by infectious organisms is the immune system to succeed an immune system must distinguish the many cellular components of its own body that is self from the cells or components of invading organisms these invading organisms are non self if the immune system fails to quickly detect and destroy an invading organism an infection will result however if the immune system fails to recognize self cells or components and mistakenly attacks them the result is known as an autoimmune disease next point is common autoimmune diseases include rheumatoid arthritis systemic lupus erythematosus that is lupus in short type 1 diabetes multiple sclerosis zogren's syndrome and inflammatory bowel disease a question rises here how does the immune system normally keeps us healthy so the answer is first point the soldiers of the immune system are white blood cells including t and b lymphocytes which originate in the bone marrow from hematopoietic stem cells every day the body comes into contact with many organisms such as bacteria viruses and parasites pieces of the foreign protein that is antigen 
bind to the major histocompatibility complex or MHC protein. This MHC is also known as HLA molecule in case of humans. This is known as HLA. This is present on the surface of antigen presenting cells. If I draw what are antigen presenting cells, if this is a cell that is antigen presenting cell and uh, there is any foreign antigen coming, this APC will break this particular antigen into minute or smaller fragments and then it will present it on its surface. On the other hand, there will be another cell that is known as T cell. One thing I forget to mention that it will also contain MHC molecule, major histocompatibility complex. This T cell will have T cell receptor. This T cell receptor and this fragmented molecule will join and these T cells will uh, generate cytokines. Cytokines are molecules that are used for the signaling purpose. These cytokine molecules will activate B cells. B cells will generate antibody molecules and these antibodies will wind to this antigen molecule and finally this will be eliminated from the body. So this complex is formed by the foreign protein and an MHC molecule. You can see here this is foreign particle, this is MHC molecule. This is complex formed. Then this binds to T cell receptor, this is T cell receptor and on the surface of another immune cells these are T cells, these are second immune cells. And further, these will degrade this foreign antigen. This is all uh, how the whole process happens. Next point is the antigen specific CD4 helper T cells divide and multiply while secreting substances called cytokines as we have seen which cause inflammation and help activate other immune cells that is B cells. Some of the antigen specific T and B cells that are activated to ride the body of infectious organisms become long-lived memory cells. Memory cells have the capacity to act quickly when confronted with the same infectious organism at later times. It is the memory cell that cause us to become immune from later reinfections with the same organism. This whole process of antigen elimination is shown in this particular diagram. You can see this is for foreign antigen. This comes to antigen presenting cells. Antigen presenting cells breaks it into fragments. 
these fragments are further presented on mhc molecule present on the antigen presenting cells this complex of mhc and antigen is formed here this will interact with the another cell that is a helper t cell this is th cell this th cell will bind to this antigen with the help of t cell receptor these uh, t helper t cells have marker that is known as cd4 marker after connection with this complex these helper t cells will release cytokines these are the cytokines molecules released these cytokines will activate b cell and a cytotoxic t cell that is tc cell these b cells will form antibodies specific for this antigen molecule and uh, on the other hand cytotoxic t cells will uh, bind with macrophages macrophages are cells that are able to engulf anything these macrophages then represent this antibody molecule and uh, sorry this antigen molecule will be present on macrophages and this antibody molecule will bind to this and further will cause cell death here you can see steps of the b cell that is a free pathogen clearance by a specific antigen antibody and production of pathogenic self reactive antibodies whole self antigen and this is further causes cell death this is the phenomena by which any foreign particle is degraded in our body how do the immune cells of the body know what to attack and what not to this is a very obvious question how they distinguish between self and non self so let us see all immune and blood cells develop from multipotent hematopoietic stem cells that originate in the bone marrow upon their departure from the bone marrow immature t cells undergo a final maturation process in the thymus thymus is a small organ located in the upper chest before being dispersed to the body with the rest of the immune cells like beta cells or b cells next point the particular array of major histocompatibility complex varies slightly between individuals and this variation is the basis of the immune response when a transplanted organ is rejected major histocompatibility complex and other less easily characterized molecule called minor histocompatibility antigen are genetically determined and this is the reason why donor organs from relatives of the recipient are preferred over unrelated donors
auto immune diseases arise when this intricate system for the induction and maintenance of immune tolerance fails the reason for the failure to induce or maintain tolerance are enigmatic however genetic factors along with environmental and hormonal influences and certain infections may contribute to tolerance and the development of autoimmune diseases here some important immune system components are given and uh, some common terms and definitions that you must know for the understanding of autoimmune diseases so now we will see these terms and definitions and also we will understand what every term is mean and what functions they perform so let us see some important components of our immune system the very first term is antibody antibody is a y shaped protein secreted by b cells in response to an antigen the structure of antibody looks something like this this is a heavy arm and this is light arm these are connected by disulfide bonds an antibody binds specifically to the antigen that induced its production if this is the antigen that induced the production of this antibody then in turn this antibody molecule will bind to this particular antigen antibodies directed against antigen on the surface of infectious organisms help eliminate those organisms from the body next is antigen antigen is a substance often a protein that induces the formation of an antibodies as we have seen that antigen will be responsible for the production of antibody molecules antigens are commonly found on the surface of infectious organism transfused blood cells and organ transplants next one is antigen presenting cell antigen presenting cell is one of a variety of cells within the body that can process antigen what is the process what does it means processing of antigen means breaking it into smaller fragments and antigen presenting cells do this antigen presenting cells are the cells that can process antigens and display them on their surface in a form recognizable by t cells coming to the next point that is auto antibody auto antibody is an antibody 
that reacts with antigens found on the cells and the tissues of an individual's own body. If I draw, if it is a person, this is any particular antibody that is generated, that is present on this person's body and these are some antibodies that are produced by this same individual. So autoantibody is a kind of antibody that will bind to the self antigen that will bind to the antigen that is present on an individual's own body. Autoantibodies can cause autoimmune disease. It is not every time true that it is must to cause autoimmune disease. They can cause autoimmune disease. So what are autoimmune disease? Let's see. Autoimmune disease is a condition that results from the formation of antibodies that attack the cells or tissues of an individual's own body. Next point is B cells. B cells are the main cells that produce antibodies. So let us see in detail. These are also known as B lymphocytes. Each B cell is capable of making one specific antibody when stimulated by antigen and helper T cells. B cells mature into plasma cells that secrete large amount of their specific antibody. Next is immune system cells. Immune system cells are white blood cells or leukocytes that originate from the bone marrow. They include antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cells, T and B lymphocytes and neutrophils among many others. Lymphatic system Lymphatic system is a network of lymph vessels and nodes that drain and filter antigens from tissues from tissue fluid before returning lymphocytes to the blood. Next one is memory cells. Memory cells are also produced by B cells along with the production of plasma cells. These are a subset of antigen specific T or B cells that recall prior exposure to an antigen and respond quickly without the need to be activated again by CD4 helper T cells. Next one is a major histocompatibility complex. It is a group of genes that code for cell surface histocompatibility antigens. These antigens are the primary reason why organ and tissue transplants from incompatible donor fail. T cells, these are also known as T lymphocytes. 
there are two primary subset of t cells first one is cd4 helper t cells identified by the presence of cd4 protein on their surfaces and are instrumental in initiating an immune response by supplying special cytokines next one is cd8 that is cytotoxic or killer t cells identified by the presence of the cd8 protein on their surfaces after being activated by cd4 helper cells these are capable of killing infected cells in the body cd4 helper t cells are the cells that are destroyed in case of aids by the hiv virus bone marrow bone marrow is the soft living tissue that fills most bone cavities and contains hematopoietic stem cells from which all red and white blood cells evolve the bone marrow also contains mesenchymal stem cells that a number of cell types come from including chondrocytes which produce cartilage cytokines cytokine is a generic term for a large variety of regulatory proteins produced and secreted by cells and used to communicate with other cells one class of cytokines is the interleukins which act as intercellular mediators during the generation of an immune response thymus thymus is a lymphoid organ located in the upper chest cavity maturing t cells leave the bone marrow and go directly to the thymus where they are educated to discriminate between self and non self protein tolerance tolerance is a state of specific immunologic unresponsiveness individuals should normally be tolerant of the cells and the tissues that make up our own bodies should tolerance fail an autoimmune disease may result so thank you very much everyone for watching this session follow itls academy on various social media platforms also subscribe our channel Thank you very much everyone thank you very much for watching this session